Okay, today we're going to learn about effects and the appearance panel in Adobe Illustrator. What we're going to do is we're going to recreate this flower here using our appearance panel. And we're also going to recreate this text down here. So you can see using the appearance panel and effects, you can put all kinds of effects on your text here and still keep it editable text. So this is still editable text. Let me undo that. All right, let's get started. I already have a polygon created. And what we're going to do is we're going to go right to our appearance panel here. Uh, we're going to apply an effect here, a uh, pucker and bloat. So you can get to your effects either on the menu up here, the effects menu, or you can get it right from the appearance panel down here. So this is very convenient. So let's go down here to uh, distort and transform, pucker and bloat. Hit the preview. I'm going to move my sliders and it creates this daisy shape. The next thing I want to do is I want to create another background here, only a different color. So we're going to be working with the same shape, only we're going to be applying uh, new fills to the same shape. So on your appearance panel, I go down to the bottom, add new fill. It adds a new fill directly above the other one using the same color, but we can change the color right here to cyan. Next thing we have to do is put this background, this color in the background, so I can drag it to the back as if it were a layer. I can't see it right now, but let's do one other thing. I'm going to select it here, down to Effects, Path, Offset Path. Hit the Preview. Now this, is, this setting here is the amount that your object is going to grow. You can also put a negative number and also make it shrink. Uh, so that looks pretty good, so I'm going to leave it. So I'm going to say OK. The next thing we want to do is uh, let's add a stroke. So I'll go down to my appearance panel, click on Add New Stroke. It adds a black stroke by default since we didn't use a stroke yet. I really want this to be white. I want it to be a little heavier, say like three points is good. And again, I want this to move away from the yellow. So I'm going to apply an offset path again. Effects, path, offset path. Hit the preview. So now this went all the way to the outside, so that's too much. Uh, let's type in a value here. I'll type in 0p6 for six points. Oh, too much. Let's do 0p3. Okay. It's a little heavy. Let's bring it down to 2. All right. Good. All right. The next thing we want to do is we want to create the center here. So we need one more fill. Add new fill. Here's the new fill. I need this to be on the top. Drag it to the top. And I need to change the color. Let's pick this orange color. Now the problem with this is it's a daisy shape, not the circle shape. So I'm going to apply an effect called Convert to Shape. Ellipse. Let's change the size. So absolute size, that is the absolute size. But if I type in a half inch, this is going to be a half inch. Relative is the amount it's going to add or subtract from what's already there. So I'm going to use an absolute value. Uh, that looks all right. I'm going to say OK. Now we also want to add some other effects to these different pieces. Uh, I want to make an inner glow on the center of this flower. So I'll select that particular fill, go down to Effect, Go down to Stylize and select Inner Glow. Hit the Preview. Okay, I don't want a white Inner Glow. I want a dark Inner Glow. So I'm going to change the color here. I'm just going to pick a very dark 
uh, color down here. Almost black is good. Uh, let me say OK. Uh, let's hit the preview. All right, so now when I hit the preview, you see it disappears. That's because the blend mode is not correct. Screen lets in the light colors. Multiply lets in the dark colors. So there we go. So let's say OK. Uh, what else do we want to do? Maybe we want to add a drop shadow uh, to this flower here, to the yellow portion. So I'll click on the yellow portion, go down to Effects, Stylize, Drop Shadow, hit the Preview. Uh, not too bad. It's a little, a little blurry. Let's bring down the blur. So I'm going to go down to zero first so I can see what's going on a little bit better. So there we go. So maybe the offset is a little too much also. So let's do 0p2 points. 0p2 points. All right, not bad. Now let's just increase the blur a little bit. Maybe also two points. All right, so we have a very soft shadow. Looks pretty good. I'll say OK. Now say I want to reuse this drop shadow on the blue. I can do that very easily. Here's my drop shadow effect. Well, I can just use my famous trick, Alt, click, and drag. So you know that copies an effect. Alt, click, and I can drag it down here and let go. And there we go, the effect has been copied. Let's try it one more time. I'll apply it to the stroke also. Here's my white stroke. Here's my drop shadow. Alt, click, and drag. Oop. See, that's not quite right. Let's move this stacking order around. There we go. That looks better. Uh, let's turn it on and off to check. There we go. So now the stroke. So the advantage here is that all these effects are live. And we did this all to a single object. So for example, if I make a change to my pucker and bloat here, just by double clicking, if I make a change, everything changes. So this is a great advantage. All right, let me just cancel that. So next we're going to work on the text. 